Greetings sailors and welcome back to Well Warships and another mid-tier oldie, in this case a very oldie, this is The Sims and it's been around since basically the start of the game, it's one of the original three pre-order ships. Now these days there are in fact two of them and I'm going to use that fact to actually uh, play around with one of the unique features of The Sims in that it is one of those rare destroyers that actually gets to uh, use two different types of torpedoes. So I'm going to use the slow puny long range torpedoes on the Sims and then we're going to go with the seven kilometers ones on the Sims B. These have actually improved a bit in terms of range uh, since it came out. I think originally this was the same 9.2 range that you have on the Mayhan and I'm pretty sure the uh, the lower range torpedoes were 6.4. So this can now in theory just about stealth torp, but only just. The torpedoes are however considerably faster and do a bit more damage, but 11,600 is still pretty weak for tier seven. Uh, we compare that to, let's see the German torpedoes are a bit indifferent. They do 14. 40, uh, Gajamada Torps, 15,000, nearly 16,000, uh, Mayhan itself, I think they'll be around 14, oh actually no, those are um, 11,600 for the 9.2s, are they higher damage for the, yeah, okay. I didn't remember Mayhan's torpedoes being that weak, but it's not one I play very often. And then there's, uh, of course, the Japanese Torps, which uh, do very healthy amounts of damage indeed. So, uh, Sims, yeah, the range uh, of the Torps, the, the weaker Torps is pretty good for the tier, but yeah, they are very, very weak. This is one of the few destroyers, at probably most tiers, where a battleship could take literally every single torpedo that uh, Sims can throw at it in a single strike and still keep on sailing. <laughs> I mean, they'll be a bit hurt, but for most other destroyers that would be basically a KO, whereas for this, not so much. The concealment's also not that great, as I've said, 6.6, .6, but uh, there are plenty of destroyers that have pretty terrible concealment at this tier. The one other unique feature that this has is that much like the Churchill Mark III premium tank, in World of Tanks, this one actually gets an XP modifier baked into it. So not even with the uh, the bonus package, or it probably is done through the bonus package these days, but um, yeah, it, it just has uh, extra XP that this ship generates, base XP, uh, on top of uh, what something else might have gotten at the, uh, the same tier for the same uh, result. So you can often have a fairly indifferent game in terms of damage done and still end up pretty high up the XP board, but I don't think grinding XP to convert is quite as useful a thing in World of Warships as it is in World of Tanks, and even in World of Tanks it's not something I did very often. In World of Warships it's something I've done barely ever, if at all, to be honest. Uh, with the uh, the relatively kinder economy that Warships has. Although they've been trying to tighten it up a bit, they've been trying to make it a little less generous towards players as time has gone by, but they haven't made any huge moves uh, to rebalance things like, say, War Thunder has in the past. I mean, War Thunder of, of Gaijin have continuously tightened their economy over time, it feels like, and there's quite a disparity as well between what you can earn in the different uh, the, the different vehicle modes between like ships and planes and vehicles so uh, yeah I think World of Warships is still probably the best of uh, tanks and war thunder to uh, have a you know a, a relatively friendly economy towards the, the player but uh, Having said that, you know, I, I am saying this with the benefit of a very long-standing amount of premium account time. Though, also having said that, you know, I pretty much ground through to uh, tier 10 on my NA account 
without basically the benefit of paying for any premium time. There were the odd days here and there of premium that I picked up from uh, boxes and special events and whatever, but uh, yeah, uh, it wasn't that much trouble to do that. Um, to, to, you know, if, if I just focused on the one line, which I did, and drove right through to tier 10. It ended up actually being uh, not too bad. It was certainly a lot quicker of an experience than it would have been for World of Tanks. Especially in terms of the credit economy. Anyway, enough wittering about economies and whatnot. Uh, this is a... I don't know if this is a, a fully optimal captain. I've got Swift in silence and I don't know if that's necessarily uh, super ideal for the sims there are probably more useful skills I mean it's always a, a kind of useful skill for a destroyer but yeah now that's one of the enemy subs there is a Neptune and we don't want none of that let's hope it's not a radar Neptune and the Mayhan is spotted oh yeah I mean the Mayhan's taken the bait and uh, even though that sub is very, very close, there's, there's nothing I can do here. Uh, in fact, we might need to pop a smoke in a second. Or can I get away with just using a speed boost? There we go. So, yeah, there goes the Mayhem. Really not a lot I can do versus that sub, apart from do what the Mayhem did and sort of rush in towards my death. Which is probably not a good idea. So yeah, let's drop some torpedoes. They're more... Uh, harassing thing than anything else, but I guess we'll see if we uh, actually do anything with that at least turn it. Right, you surfaced briefly, which is annoying, so they know what I am, but I didn't take any damage there. Nice, okay, Blind Hit took out that Neptune, who had been very, very forwards. We might actually be able to take out this sub then. We know they're pretty close. So there's an enemy in my hand, what else have they got? Uh, get you matter. Sashio, of course, two of those cannot torp me, uh, but the Gajimada's guns are certainly not to be underestimated. Right, little submarine, where are you? Let's see if we can uh, do something about your... Right, that's going to be... Let's see, enemy may have. That's spotting me, enemy stuff Torpedo's that's over there. Ahead. Problem solved, sir. Uh, we do have a relatively quick reload with these torps, but uh, yeah. Now you've surfaced, you must have surfaced, because I'm blocking right now. Here's where, here's where a hydro would become useful, but uh, alas I do not have one of those, so we're just going to be relying on uh, just sort of being on top of them basically. There you are. Very, very close. Hopefully not close enough for the Takahashi to be a problem. Right, you're going underneath. Engine boost deactivated. And I'm expecting maybe some incoming shots from the Takahashi. And there was nothing I could have done about that shot, so that was always uh, that's always nice when they can just point blank range you. And uh, you lose half your health in the process. Perfectly balanced. It wasn't even the Takahashi that was the problem, it was the submarine shotgunning me in an unavoidable fashion. But oh well. Just means I've got adrenaline rush now, right? Yeah, yeah, you gotta look on the right side. Right, uh, what are you doing, Marlborough? I'm going forwards and backwards in a slightly hesitant fashion. In terms of map control, in terms of kills, uh, I think we might be winning this one. Is that Takahashi Torps? That must be Takahashi Torps. Very widespread. Right, um, unless the Marlboro does any super fancy... Oh, never mind, they're going to die. But we'll make a drop there anyway, I suppose. I could still take the Asashio in a fight, hopefully. You do have a pretty good rate of fire with these guns. Uh, they do have the usual US arcs though, but I mean 3.2 seconds. Very quick turret traverse, very responsive ship. 
We'll see what we manage to get. Uh, they do still have one sub left. That's maybe not so much an issue. The Asashio will very much outspot me though. Ah, yes, they are also still full health. Okay. That might be a bit of a pain to deal with, especially with the Takahashi close by. I am very tempted to, I, I, I mean, there's been Mayhans and, you know, I'm in The Sims and whatever. I'm very tempted to, to do my usual rant when I'm doing Tier 7 Destroyers, and I did kind of touch on the, uh, the poor surface spotting that most of them have. Um, but, yeah, I, I think most people are well familiar with my views on how... Uh, unfortunate a lot of the tier 7 destroyers are in that regard so maybe I'll save that rant for another day but yeah they do they do get the fuzzy end of the stick they really do right it's not worth dropping on that uh, Takahashi is it now I'll just keep them spotted hopefully I will get some spotting damage out of it I could try and go for the Brandenburg it's just kind of chillaxing next to the border. Okay, let's not get spotted by the Takahashi, that would be bad. Sashio is somewhere... yeah, you're just kind of reversing there, aren't you, Brandenburg? Our victory is reversing inside. into the border at full health at this stage of the game, that's... That's the, always the sign of a... Super fantastic player. Right, let's not die to a randomly dropped torpedo, that would be embarrassing. Okay, well, almost in range. I might just smoke up and pew pew, to be honest. Because uh, we're sort of rapidly getting towards the point of. Uh, yeah. The Takahashi can drop torps into my smoke, but we'll try and position so that's not going to be an issue. I think we're actually just out of range for those torpedoes, aren't we? He may... He, if he keeps going forward very, very slowly, he might run into them, but even if he does... They are... Uh, oh. uh, yes, yeah, super low damage. I mean, especially when you take into consideration that most of your uh, preferred targets, i.e. battleships, are going to have some form of torpedo bulge. So, uh, yeah. Right, a bit of a blind shot, but yeah, firing AP, I'm not too worried. I can jink around a little bit, but that's fine. I'm just to get a fire going here. Now, here's the point where I'm trying to remember does Brandenburg have Hydro? So I honestly don't know. Position myself so I can make a getaway. But I'm also hoping that, you know, there's going to be enough other people around that they'll be like, oh, yeah, half dead. A half alive Sims is not so much a threat as a tier 9 Japanese cruiser or, you know, whatever. I guess we'll see. But please don't, uh, don't into my torps, Takahashi. Uh, no, you, you did exactly that. Excellent. <laughs> ah, now his corpse is good enough. <laughs> okay, never mind. Right. Uh, I got a bit of extra damage out of that, but yeah. My, my I got thoroughly, uh, <laughs> thoroughly blocked by that Takahashi there, making a suicide dash towards the the Brandenburg okay so the Sam's still over there Sashio's still over there guess we'll see if we can uh... oh never mind we got there on point so yeah not very impressive damage wise but that was enough for second place on the team because like I said you get a nice little XP bonus so I'm actually curious. I mean, obviously I was, you know, damaging higher tier ships than me as well. But uh, yeah, having said, it's it's possibly now baked into the economic bonuses. 55% uh, to... Now is that 
the same for uh, I'm say learning graph which five set. Now I don't uh, I don't know. It must be still a baked in thing then. I don't think it's reflected in the uh, the ship XP bonus. Still the, the usual well fifty five percent because of this uh, clan thing we've got going on there as well. But yeah, I, I think I think that must still be a special baked in thing for the Sims. Then I, I did wonder if they'd done it that way, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe someone will go, oh hey, it says this and this on the wiki. So I don't know why I don't have the bonuses on there, but now I do. I do actually have flags at least. I haven't played The Sims B very much. Uh, can you tell? Yes, we do have signals. Okay, that's fine. I mean, I think this was one I got out of a crate or maybe one I got uh, while I was still a, a, a CC. I can't remember. I can't remember at what point they did the Black Friday version, but uh, I'm pretty sure it was a couple of Black Fridays ago at this stage. So let's give the seven kilometer torpedoes a go. Uh, they actually, <laughs> now I know they pack the same punch as the Mayhan, but they're just shorter ranged and faster. I mean, I guess it therefore makes it almost a variation on the Mayhan. I'm pretty sure you've got slightly better concealment than Mayhan as well. Mayhan's like 6.7. Got things like Blishkovitsa, which have which have six point eight. Some of the tier uh, tier seven destroyers, they just really get shafted. But uh, no, I said I wasn't going to go into that rant, so I'll be good. I'll be good. So we do have another tier nine game. Only one sub this time. Uh, there is one radar, but this is very battleship heavy, and the Ize will be able to loft some planes. And I've just noticed some of those battleships. Uh, yeah, the enemy team has a fail division, and it hasn't found an equal fail division for our team, because they've taken those two with a Mayhan. Although, funnily enough, I think I'd be okay t taking a Fuso into a Tier 9 game, because you have the range, and you actually do have decent maneuverability. So, yeah, I, I actually would not be, uh, like, if they're playing alright in a Fuso, it might not be that much of a handicap. The Ize, on the other hand, with fewer guns, yeah, that might have a harder time. But honestly, yeah, that, that Fuso HC is good enough for these uh, bottom, well, very bottom tier games in this case, where you've got uh, armoured targets that your 14 inch guns just don't really have enough punch to get through, especially at range. So it can feel a bit dirty, but yeah, it's not quite as dirty as um, King George V's HE or Conqueror or, you know, maybe even some of the French battleships. Anyway, uh, yeah, Orkan, Orkan's got radar. Benson definitely outspots me, so Mayhan's the only thing I can reliably outspot, so uh, let's not be too pushy here. It's also going to be a lot harder to try and make torpedo drops, but we do have a higher chance of them actually hitting something, which is quite nice. Uh, I think the reload on these is a bit longer than the other ones as well, but uh, don't quote me on that. It's not quite a minute and a half, but I, I do have on both The Sims and The Sims B the... Um, torpedo module mounted which actually come to think of it I think that only affects the torpedo speed it doesn't affect torpedo reload does it so never mind disregard that gives you a couple of extra knots it's like an extra five percent to your torpedo speed from that module right all cans over there Benson's there so that just leaves a sashio somewhere there's the Fuso and there's Ise planes which I'm not too worried about to be honest it's more the spotting that's going to be annoying than anything else. Oh, we're just skirting around the edge of detectability. Now, I could, in theory, have put uh, a defensive on this. You can take a defensive yeah, instead of speed boost, but for Sims AA, I don't think it's really worth it, to be honest. Right, you're having a think about it, but... Uh, yeah. You do have the range with Sims's planes. Oh, you're just circling back to try again, are you? Or are you thinking you might just keep me spotted? 
Oh, this is not really anyone to keep me spotted for, apart from you and your pal. Yeah, you can see how much, like, even even with the defensive, this is this is not a particularly good AA boat. Uh, <laughs> we're we're just uh, we're tickling them. We're tickling them. Not really doing much else but tickling them. Okay, so I might try and. Are you just making. You're just flying around keeping me spotted and it's not actually doing anything because there's no one that's close enough to shoot me. Duke of York might from over there, I suppose. <laughs> there we go, just as I say it, the Duke of York has a go. Right, you got bored of just flying your planes around and not actually shooting at stuff, so. Fair enough. So let's pop through the middle gap and I might be able to drop over there. Guess we'll see. Fuso and Ize are like heading north at the moment, so yeah. Now as a consequence of, yeah, there we go, of that Ize just flying their planes around so long, uh, of course, you know, as you're doing that, that actually uh, means that your, uh, your your cooldown is sort of ticking down all the while. So yes, there's more planes almost immediately. There's a mountain between me and them, so that's fine. You can play with the AA on those guys. Right, there's the Fuso. Are you actually coming over here? Maybe. Yeah, they're not really, uh, <laughs> they're not really the most, they're being the most effective right now this easy. I mean, they're certainly, uh, being a bit annoying, but that's all. Yes, hello, easy. Let me lead you towards some friendly AA. Oh, that Collingwood's not looking happy. Right, there's Takahashi. Obviously one we want to be worried about. The Asashio cannot do anything to that Takahashi. We're going to have to make a sharpish turn or drop smoke. And I'd rather keep my smoke just because I've only got three of them. Uh, you'd think with St. Louis and the Munchen would... Uh, okay, okay, help out the Asashio. We need to have this smoke. We can even duck behind. Whoop. Oh, it went just before. Never mind. Right, go on. Takashi in the open. I know you want to take him. We're going to get torpedo hit. We are. Seeing a squashy cruiser like that, it's uh, yeah. Right now, uh, are you pushing? Oh, that's going to be the Benson. Hello, Benson. Where are you? Can I take Benson in the gunfight? Well, it depends what the Benson's health is at. Benson can outspot me by, what, 800 meters? So I'm sort of heavily hoping for some help from my allies right now. I do still have the both the same amount of ballistics to cope with, but yeah. This side is the Takahashi spotting me. I'm going to have to blow a smoke here, aren't I? Right, oh, I've just noticed in the chat I've been. Uh, yeah. No, Takahashi, leave me alone. Don't be mean. Problem solved, sir. Okay, uh, yeah. Smoke screen set. Uh, this is not looking so good. This is sort of the inverse of the last game. In fact, we haven't killed a single enemy yet. Oh well. I, I, I got to make one torpedo hit at least. But, uh, yeah, for goodness sake, this is not going well at all. This team is getting 
utterly trounced. I didn't even notice how badly we were getting trounced, but yeah. It's even worth me sticking in the cap. I don't think so! I don't think so. Let's not bother. Good lord. We are getting crushed. Yeah, this is the kind of situation where in pretty much most bottom tier destroyers are going to struggle to do anything about it. Engine boost deactivated. Let alone something that doesn't have the hitting the power of the... Uh, or that, that has weak hitting power like this. Right, don't have any smoke for a bit. Uh, worth trying to drop towards... God, I don't even know. Duke of York's got Hydra, I don't know. Hello! Yes, I'm doomed. I do realise this. Uh, but then the whole team has been pretty well doomed so far, so... Why should this be any different? Yeah, a minute till smoke. We're not surviving this! Oh well. But if we take the Duke of York down, at least it won't be a completely disgraceful loss. Because, uh, frankly, this is pretty embarrassing. There isn't something a little more capable than a Sims that might have done the trick, but yeah, yeah, are we gonna get any hits there? Yay! We got one kill. Uh, still pretty embarrassing though. <laughs> God, this is uh, this is pretty bad. Let's not die to the submarine. Whatever we die to, it can't be the submarine. I refuse. I absolutely refuse. There we go. And we got another kill as well, but yeah, good lord. This, this, this was a crushing defeat. Absolutely crushing. I might have to play around a little bit more in my spare time with these seven column to torpedoes. Because I think they're probably the more interesting choice, even if they are the more dangerous choice, because... It's tier 7, you're going to quite often get matchmaking like this, you're going to quite often see radars that are absolutely going to outrange your 7km torps, and you're also absolutely going to be frequently seeing destroyers that can outspot you by up to a kilometre, if not more, because you, you can meet some pretty stealthy destroyers from, from tier 8 and tier 9. Hell, even some of the tier 7 other destroyers, like, there's a very few of them that have very good stealth. So, that was rubbish. But again, that XP modifier, I guess. The fact that I was doing damage to higher tier ships. So, there you go. So, for Sims, uh, it's it's a ship. Uh, yeah, it's to be honest, of the premium destroyers, it's one of the weaker ones. Still, outside of that XP bonus, uh, even at tier 7, I think there are certainly more interesting choices like the Leningrad if you want something that's got guns. Uh, I think the Z-39 has... has that got decent? I seem to remember that having decent torpedoes. Yeah, Z-39. And also, uh, uh, I think decent stealth. I've noticed with the most recent patch, it doesn't sort of auto-update. You have to look away and look back. Uh, there we go, 6.1. 6.1 is pretty good stealth for tier 7. And uh, the Udachi is kind of an interesting choice as well, with its 15km torpedoes. And, uh, I mean, yes, they're slow, but they're still nowhere near as slow as the Sims' slowest torps, which I think, without any help at all, they're like 48 knots or something like that. It's only with the module that you get them up to 51 knots. And then you can get them up to like 53 with the captain skill as well. So, yeah, it, it's an older ship. Um, and to be honest, it's not one I'd spend money on. I mean, if you get it as a freebie, then sure. But uh, even at this tier, like I said, there are certainly more interesting ones. And hell, I didn't even mention Haida, Huron, and uh, Bushkevitsa. And, uh, well, that suffers for its, uh, it, its uh, concealment for sure. But... Uh, it's probably a more capable gunboat, and the torpedoes are certainly more usable as well, and certainly do more damage. So that is it for this particular pair of games. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and if you did, you can do all the usual things down underneath the video. And of course, as always, stay tuned for more.